Hello, good afternoon, guys. Um, as you have heard, uh, Trump has uh, COVID-19. He ended up having the COVID-19, and he's he was talking from the White House. I mean, no, 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 from the hospital. So I want to show you the the t uh, the video, and we can talk about it real quick. Thank you. Medical Center. I think it's the finest in the world for the incredible job they've been doing. Uh, I came here wasn't feeling so well i feel much better now we're working hard to get me all the way back i have to be back because we still have to make america great again we've done an awfully good job of that but we still have steps to go and we have to finish that job and i'll be back i think i'll be back soon and i look forward to finishing up the campaign the way it was started and the way we've been doing the kind of numbers that we've been doing we've been so proud of it but this was something that happened, and it's happened to millions of people all over the world, and I'm fighting for them, not just in the U.S., I'm fighting for them all over the world. We're going to beat this coronavirus, or whatever you want to call it, and we're going to beat it soundly. So many things have happened. If you look at the therapeutics, which I'm taking right now, some of them, and others are coming out soon that are looking like... Uh, frankly, they're miracles, if you want to know the truth. They're miracles. People criticize me when I say that. But we have things happening that look like they're miracles coming down from God. So I just want to tell you that I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know over the next period of a few days. I guess that's the real test. So we'll be seeing what happens over those next, co next couple of days. I just want to be so thankful for all of the support I've seen whether it's on television or reading about it. Uh, I most of all appreciate what's been said by the American people, by almost a bipartisan consensus of American people. It's a beautiful thing to see. And I very much appreciate it and I won't forget it. I promise you that. I also want to thank the leaders of the world for uh, their condolences and their, they know what we're going through. They know what as your leader what I have to go through but I had no choice because I just didn't want to stay in the White House I was given that alternative stay in the White House lock yourself in don't ever leave don't even go to the Oval Office just stay upstairs and enjoy it don't see people don't talk to people and just be done with it and I can't do that I had to be out front and this is America this is the United States this is the greatest country in the world this is the most powerful country in the world I can't be locked up in a room upstairs and totally safe and uh, just say hey whatever happens happens I can't do that we have to confront problems as a leader you have to confront problems there's never been a great leader that would have done that so that's where it is I'm doing well I want to thank everybody. Our First Lady is doing very well. Melania asked me to say something as to the respect that she has for our country, the love that she has for our country, and uh, we're both doing well. Melania is uh, really handling it very nicely. As you've probably read, she's slightly younger than me, just a little tiny bit, and uh, therefore just we know the disease, we know the situation age versus uh, younger people and uh, Melania is handling it statistically like it's supposed to be handled and uh, that makes me very happy and it makes the country very happy but I'm also doing well and I think we're going to have a very good result again over the next few days we're going to probably know for sure so I just want to thank everybody out there everybody all over the world specifically the United States the outpouring of love has been incredible i will never forget thank you very much uh yeah so as you have seen guys uh trump gave us a message he looks pretty healthy i don't know what you guys think it, it looks pretty healthy it, not, there's nothing scary but it, it there was a little bit of a of, uh, for a short amount of time it looked like he, he, he was having difficulty breathing but it's a very uh very small uh issue it, it, it wasn't big so but this virus we don't know how it's gonna how it can change it can change by the second and as i'm making this video this video was made a couple of days after this uh, this thing right now we, there, there's a uh, report that uh, trump has a, a, a lack of oxygen in his blood 
so his blood is was like an oxygen so that's very important we need to keep in touch with Trump find out what's going on and then stay in touch guys thank you please subscribe to the channel thank you